good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Keita make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me Because it is uploaded and ready for you guys. Um, today we are supposed to be at school at 10:30. It is now 6:30, so I gotta go get some gas before I be walking. But we have. Let me let this one up. We today is supposed to be an actual clinical day for us, but we have a um. A meet and greet with the first year uh, respiratory therapy students uh, hello you guys if you have been <laughs> watching me and you about to see me this morning yes <laughs> but if you are not anyway um, like I said we're supposed to have a meet and greet with the first year um, RT students and I don't know if I think it's 14 of them because we started out with 14 as well. So I'm just excited for today. Like I said, I didn't sleep a wink <laughs> at all. But it's just now getting light outside. And like I said, I got to get some gas. So I'm so excited to meet everybody, see all my classmates and everything, and gain some more knowledge as to what I'm supposed to be doing with myself. <laughs> so I can learn this stuff because it is a lot of information. Um, hello to all my new subscribers. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning. I got up this morning. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, washed my body, 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 and I ate breakfast. I had two waffles. I like the little thick and fluffy ones, the cinnamon brown sugar. God Almighty, with some um, <laughs> with some syrup, and I had a protein shake, but I had already packed my lunch last night, so all I had to do was just grab my um, my lunch box and my book bag, my pocketbook, and my blanket, and I'm out the deck for class. I'm glad I woke up on time. Well, actually, I'm. I woke up earlier. I woke up at like five something, but it was gonna be dark, dark. So I was like, "Well, let me wait a little bit while longer." So I ate while it was still dark, dark. But um, I'm super excited for this um diagnostics therapeutic procedures class and this cardiopulmonary science two and the neonatal and pediatrics class as well as. I got another class too and they got a lab but I forgot what it, what it is I gotta look at my syllabus again but we got some writing to do and I got a lot of papers to write and some case studies and stuff like that but today we're gonna go over the syllabus and all of our classes and stuff so we can hopefully gain some more knowledge about these annotations and stuff because we had some annotations last semester but we got a lot more this semester than what we had last semester. This semester, I think we got four. So, ugh, I'm writing all these John Boogan papers. Like, good gosh. I don't like writing papers, y'all. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know exactly down in the comments how many of y'all like writing papers. Because I dread writing papers. I dread it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I hate writing papers. But I'm about to get me some gas right quick. Hopefully they open. How much is this gas? Two eighty nine. Yeah, we're gonna get this two eighty nine day. Hopefully they open because it's at six thirty three. Hopefully they open already. But yeah, I'm about to get me 
me some gas. Cause I ain't got but two little notches, two little notches. You guys hang tight. I'ma pump my gas and stuff. Hang tight, you guys. I'm about to pump my gas. All right, all right. I just put my gas. Just get back in the car. And I should have got some coffee, but I did not. Hopefully, I can keep my eyes open all day. But if not, I can pull over when I get down there. But I'm trying to save this coin and stop spending all this coin and start eating at home. But I packed my lunch like I told you, but... I'm just like, ugh. Them three weeks flew by. Fire break from from summer to fall semester. Got my little fall colors on. Hopefully I can um take a picture and um let you guys see what I got on today. Because all we do in college is eat, sleep. <clears throat> Lord, I need to hold on a minute, y'all. I'm talking too early. Mm. Hold on. I gotta get some drink, honey. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. But all us college students do is eat, sleep, go to clinicals. And repeat. <laughs> That's all we do. <clears throat> That's all we got time to do. But that's what we do. We study. We read a whole lot. We write these papers. Yeah. But um I had the luxury of going to a conference, a respiratory therapy conference. It was located in um, the Virginia Beach area and we stayed at the Hilton and y'all, it was so freaking amazing. Like, I have never experienced anything like that in my life. Um, I'll try and insert some of the pictures and stuff that I took and um, I actually won a 10th edition Dana Oaks book from one of its authors because they had speakers which were licensed respiratory therapists and physicians from all over the world. When I tell you that this conference was on point, I loved this freaking conference. Like, long story short, since I am who I am, <laughs> um, long story short, I went to this conference. I competed against my old college that I used to attend as well as Tidewater Community College. So I competed against my old college and when I walked through the room you could hear a pin drop on the floor. So long story short I received an apology from those said professors that decided they did not want to help me. So I was content with that. I was shocked that I received a apology as well as I was just on cloud 35. And that's just to say the least because it was very, very shocking to me to actually see them at this conference less than a year, well no, a year after 
they didn't they decided not to help me but long story short i was living the mother freaking dream and hmm, we went we sought and we conquered we won a trophy and we brought it back home period in the discussion but y'all that conference was on the money i learned so much stuff i answered some questions correctly that's why i received that um 10th edition dana oaks book um i met respiratory therapists and doctors across the world like i was in there networking do you hear me networking that's what i did the whole entire time like i was offered uh several positions and whatnot but where I was a first year student, I was like, oh my God, I don't even think I'm supposed to be having this job offer right now. But, like, they asked, they asked along the lines of um, if we had any job offers for any um, facilities yet. And I was like, no. And then by the time I was talking to this lady, lo and behold, my old professor just decided he wanted to pop up and be nosy per usual from my previous college and he was trying to listen in on the conversation as to what she was um asking me so he kind of got brushed off by her because she was keyed in 100 percent on me trying to ask me if we had any job offers and stuff yet so to me, I was like, I was sitting there like, oh my God, like she really brushed him completely off to converse with me. And I was like, dang, pimp. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was, it was, it was amazing. They provided um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for us because we were with the conference and the uh, hosting hotel provided that actual um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it was some amazing food. We had speakers, like I said, they had like PowerPoints and they um, they talked about a lot of stuff, y'all. Like it was a lot of stuff. Hopefully I can go back home when I get back home and um, find that schedule, that agenda. but. That was the most amazing conference that I have ever went to. We had like a little sputum bowl. So that's how we won that trophy. They asked you like speed questions. <laughs> so they asked you anything along the lines of your first year as a respiratory therapy student. So anything that was covered over your first year of being a respiratory therapy student was fair game and asked at the sputum bowl. So after we did after we um, did our first round of speed and bowl, which we beat my previous college. So if you all are watching, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> how y'all doing? <laughs> but anyway, um, it was time for the professionals to have their round of speed and bowl. So it was it was very nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like they lectured us from. Let's see, I think it was 9 to 12, and then they had vendors and stuff like that outside in the um, lobby area. Well, I'm not, I'm calling it a lobby area, but it was like a, a, a wing of the hotel that was one floor, and we had like a big, like a big ballroom, and then they had like the hallway or whatever. I'm, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it the hallway full of vendors from like, um, Woo! Let me see. What was the name of the vendors? We had the... I think it was the Puritan and Bennett. If I'm not mistaken. That was, that's a ventilator, y'all. It's the Puritan and Bennett because they, had, they um, manufactured a, um, a newer model than what we actually have in the classroom. But uh, we do actually have that um, ventilator in the classroom. But anyway, they had like some little nose clip things that's like scented say like if you go in somebody's room and they room is like not the pleasantest smell um they got like some little nose clips where you just stick up in your nose and then you like smell the scent that's on the nose clip they had some of those um they had a lot of stuff 
enough, y'all. They had a lot of ventilator stuff. They had um, <clears throat> Phillips. I think Phillips was Phillips Restaurants there. I don't know. I have to look at that darn thing when I get back home. But it's been that we went to that in March. We went to that March 17th through March 19th. And when I tell y'all, the beach was amazing, but the water was freezing. And I couldn't get in the water too much because my little friend of a friend can't popped up on me, honey. But it's cool. But the water was freezing, and I can't swim no way. But still, I just wanted to put my feet in. And we, me and my daughter, we walked the beach. Um, the food was expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, and a lot of the stuff was like, uh, it was like freezing though. Like it was still freezing, but we had a ball. We literally had a ball and I met some board members. <laughs> if y'all are watching, how y'all doing? I'm on my way to school. <laughs> but anyway, um, I met some board members and I'm still keeping contact with those board members. They check on me and they make sure that I'm still making these A's and B's and some C's. I'm not going to lie because that mechanical ventilation like about to kill me. I about died with mechanical ventilation. But um, yes, I still keep in touch with them and yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited so excited so 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 excited i need to um i need to text them good morning because it is morning and yes but oh my god i'm getting sleepy now y'all i should have drunk some darn coffee i should have got a coffee i knew this was gonna happen yawning at the time like this but you guys, I will check in with you all after the meet and greet with the first year students because I got to focus on this road, y'all, and I don't want to bore y'all with my two-hour ride to school because I'll be rambling, rambling, rambling and, and can't stop. But hopefully when I get home, I'll make a separate video about the um, conference that we did. So let me know down in the comments whether or not you all would like to see a full video on the conference and see what types of gifts and goodies I got because they do have another um, conference coming up and I think it's in Arizona I think it's in November sometime but stay tuned I don't know if I want to go because that was just the state level that we won so I don't know if I want to go because I need to I really really need to get my money up to go out there because shoot gotta have a car to drive around in because if i drive my car it's gonna take a, a day and eight hours to get there like one way and that's in the middle of the semester so i uh, i don't know about that that's that's a far you know what i'm saying like yeah, that's a far like i don't know if i want to go there but i will check back in on you guys later after I get down here and let you guys know that I made it and yeah I'll check in with you guys later